What do you get when you drop a pumpkin? Squash! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Handmade. I'm Jenny and I don't know if you've been outside lately, but it is finally fall. There are leaves changing on every tree. There are pumpkins on every front porch and I, for one, totally love it. There are tons of ways you can use pumpkins in your fall decor, but my favorite way to dress up a pumpkin is with a little bit of paint. The great thing about painting pumpkins is you can either do it on a real pumpkin and it's just temporary, or you can do it on a faux pumpkin and it lasts season after season. Today, we're gonna make three painted pumpkins with a little bit of a twist. All three are gonna be fabric inspired. I promise you're really going to fall for these gorgeous ideas. Let's get started. <laughs> See what I did? For each of these projects, all you'll need is a pumpkin of your choice and paint. For the base on this pumpkin, I'm using a white acrylic craft paint. I'm gonna start with a dark orange craft paint. Mix white paint into the orange until you get a lighter orange that you like. Use painter's tape to tape horizontal lines on the pumpkin. This tape doesn't have to be perfect, really just trying to keep your lines straight-ish. For a buffalo check pattern, you want the white and colored stripes to be approximately the same width. After painting horizontal stripes, go back and add vertical lines following the ribs of the pumpkin. Make these stripes approximately the same width as the horizontal stripes. When your grid is all painted and dried, bring your original orange color back in, darken the squares where the horizontal and vertical lines overlap. This pumpkin is starting with a black base. I'm using a matte black craft paint. I love the look of mod cloth fabric. It has a really boho feel to it. I'm using painter's tape to create straight lines on the pumpkin. Create simple patterns using V-shapes, dots, and lines with a white paint pen. Mudcloth fabric originated in the 12th century in Mali in West Africa. It was originally dyed with fermented mud and tree branches. Many of the symbols had meaning, but have been lost over time. I'm obsessed with shibori dyed fabric. To make a shibori inspired pumpkin, you need a bowl of cold water and some nail polish. Swirl the nail polish into the water and work quickly. Dip your pumpkin into the bowl and the nail polish will magically adhere to the surface. Add more nail polish and dip again if necessary. Remove slowly and let dry completely. I literally do not know which of these is my favorite because they are all so cute. Also, they're so easy. You can do them if you can just draw a straight line using painter's tape. The best thing about them though is that I did them on faux pumpkins. So I'm going to be able to use these for years to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which of these is your favorite in the comments below. Let us know if you wanna see more projects like this by giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe. We'll see you next time.